In this video, I just want to take a few quick minutes to explain why I switched from Postman to Insomnia for testing and building out APIs. Now, I will say that I don't, you know, develop APIs in a fashion of like I'm distributing them. Um, most of my work is using other APIs and being able to just quickly test out different endpoints and whatnot. So that's kind of the context behind it. But the main reason why I have chosen Insomnia and why I love it so much is it's simple. It's also got an open source client that I'll show you here in just a minute. Um, but overall, I just love the minimalist, uh, simple, um, intuitive interface that it provides you. I think over time, Postman has gotten a bit bloated um, for at least my needs. And, you know, whether you're using the Chrome extension or the, you know, native app, I'm not even sure what they're distributing anymore. It just gets to be a lot. So um, I really like Insomnia for that reason. It just keeps things very simple and elegant. Um, but before I do too much talking, let's go ahead and jump in and see what that actually looks like. So here is the dashboard once you download um, you can see up here I'm on my personal project you can create multiple projects and then within a project you can have multiple collections so what I'll normally do is if I'm you know making a project that deals with like three or four external APIs like let's say that I'm building a personal site um, that has say like uh, ConvertKit uh, I might be capturing emails with that and they have an external API. I might make a collection just for that. I'll make a collection for my own API uh, and endpoints, so on and so forth. So anyways, let's dive into one of the collections here. I've set up some data here just for us to, to demo. Um, but the first thing I wanna jump into is, is how simple this is. It's just got a very simple interface. There's not a lot of things that you can click. Um, which in my opinion is a great thing. And if you go over to local dev here, you can see that you can manage the environments. I'll explain what's going on here in a second. But basically you have a base environment which you can put you know, reusable variables and then you have sub environments. You can have local, staging, production and you can quickly switch between those two or those two or three. So let's go ahead and jump into an example. Um, so I'm pulling up a dummy REST API. This is dummyjson.com. The reason I'm using this is because it has authentication and some different endpoints to test out. So this is a very common flow that I use with Insomnia uh, that I wanted to demo. And that is to authenticate to the API you are using. And then you will pass whatever authentication token, let's call it a JWT, um, to all the future requests that you make within the client. So you can see with dummy JSON, you can go to the docs and this is how you obtain a JWT, a bearer token to use for the rest of the endpoints. So that's what I've done here in my authenticate to API post request. So I've dropped the uh, URL up here and this is actually a good time to um, extract this out as an example. So this is the base URL, so we'll copy that. And in our environments and local, we'll come down here and we'll say something like uh, base URL or something like that. Paste that in and then save that. And now what we can do is backspace this, hit underscore, period, and then hit control enter. And it pulls up those uh, variables that you can use so now it's substituting that and if you click on it it will show you the live preview of what it is generating there so um, I believe this might have got copied in on accident I don't know how that got there um, let's see okay so we're set here now we're just gonna pass in the username and password this is just what's provided by the the dummy API Let's see if it works. And you can see over here, we've got our token. So now our goal is to actually take that token and pass it to an additional request. So that's what I'm doing here in the get post comments. But the way I'm doing this is through a little plugin. 
So another great thing about Insomnia is it's got a nice plugin community. So if we go to settings and then plugins, you can see that I've downloaded the Insomnia plugin global headers. And what that does is it takes you from the environments tab. If you put this special key called global headers, then every property that you pass to that JSON object is going to be passed to every single re request in your environment collection. So what you can see here is I'm passing authorization and then a bearer token, but the value is gonna be dynamic. And if you click on this, you can see that I've um, selected a body attribute value of a response body from the request called post authenticate to API, as I just showed you. And then what we're doing is we're using a JSON path. So we're uh, dollar sign dot and then you can see in the live preview down here the whole object that you're receiving from that request. And we just want to pluck the token off of that. So here's the live preview of the value that we're, we're getting. And then we might say always uh, generate that, resend the request when we need, and click done. And so now authorization is going to give us that JWT. And so if we wanted to get the post comments, you can see um, resources as an auth user on the dummy JSON. What you can do is you can just pass any of the resources with auth prefix and it will check the authentication. So this is just mimicking a real API. And so we've got that up here. We're just grabbing products for say that user. And when we hit send, we're going to get all of the, the user products. And what it's been, what it has done here is actually passed an authorization um, header here. So basically we've got all of these, it's authenticating, and that's just kind of the workflow that I use with the Insomnia client. You can also go down um, in the response and use this syntax and just grab, uh, let's say you want to grab like all of the elements from the array, and then you want the titles. There you go, you've got an array of all the titles, and you can copy paste that wherever you want to go. So that's just a quick overview of the Insomnia uh, client. And it's, it's really intuitive, simple, elegant, um, and it's why I use this over Postman now. If you want a longer video on maybe a specific topic here, uh, be sure to leave it in the comments and I'll try to address that. But until next time, I'll see you later.